Welcome to X-Pine CV. I'm Mia Seymour. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for our school mission statement. We the Patriots achieve greatness through high expectations passion, and perseverance. Thank you. You may not be seated. Today is Thursday, March 30th, 2023. Let's take a nice and relaxing brain break. First, stretch your arms up and out as high and as far as you can and breathe in the fresh air. As if you've just come out of your cave and stepped out to feel the warmth of the spring sun. As you breathe out, you're going to growl and make bear claws with your hands. I can never get enough of these relaxing brain breaks. Let's see what happened today in history with Alexander. Thank you, Nia. Good morning, Patriots. Today in history, on March 30th, 1987, Vincent Van Gogh's sunflower painting sells for a record of $39.7 million. This painting is just special because he just used three tints of yellow and nothing else, which created a painting that became very expensive. He actually used the oil pastel instead of paint to bring up more texture. Fun fact, Vincent was born on the same day, just in the year, 1853. You may know him by his most famous painting called Starry Night, which is held in the Museum of Modern Art. Wow, it's amazing how his paintings have become so well known worldwide. Now, let's see what's on today's menu with Hadassah. Thank you, Alexander. Today's tasty lunch is hot ham and cheese croissant, sweet potato fries, mandarin oranges, cold turkey and cheese sandwich, and your toast and milk. And tomorrow's breakfast is blueberry muffin, string cheese, cinnamon toast crunch, cereal, graham crackers, fresh apple, cinny mini, and your choice of milk. Students, please keep in mind lunch can change at any time. And to always bring your lunch card. Lunch, lunch and breakfast. Yeah. Oh, lunch and breakfast. Students, please keep in mind lunch and breakfast can change at any time. And to always bring your lunch card. Don't forget to let your teachers know if you'll be receiving lunch today. Bon appetit. Now let's go back to Nia. Thank you, Hadassah. Scholars, the spring NWA season is ongoing. Today, 4th through 8th graders will be taking the math NWA. Good luck, 4th through 8th. Make sure to check the schedule to see when it's your time to test. As you all should know, a new quarter equals a new instructional software challenge. This challenge ends on June 2nd, so check the flyer for the requirements and get started on those lessons. Patriots, it is important to make sure you all follow the cell phone policies. Please keep your phones shut down and in your backpacks at all times. And also, don't forget you are not allowed to chew gum in school, so please don't chew gum in the building. Sadly, the Patriot store is closed tomorrow, Monday, and Tuesday, but we'll be back. Now let's go to Jay's Lean for today's weather report. Thank you, Nia. Good morning, Patriots. Today you are going to want to spend some time outdoors because the weather is expected to be a nice 81 degrees Fahrenheit with partly cloudy skies. In other weather news, have you ever heard of moon water? In 2020, a Chinese lunar lander collected dirt from the surface of the moon. After further studies, some glass beads that contained water were found in dirt. Scientists estimate that there are a billion more under the surface of the moon. Researchers say that in the future, moon water could potentially be mined and used for drinking. But we will have to wait and see. Now let's go to Melanie for Patriot on the Go. Welcome back to Patriot on the Go. Today's question is, what do you want to be when you grow up? Hi, would you like to be interviewed? Yes. What's your name? Allison. And the question is, what do you want to be when you grow up? A nurse. Why? Because I want to help people that's sick. Me too. I think I want to be a doctor. Well, have a great day. What's your name? Kalina. And the question is, what do you want to be when you're older? Um, I want to be a math teacher. Why do you want to be a math teacher? Because you can help your students learn math. 
That sounds really helpful. Thank you so much. What's your name? Lauren. And the question is, what do you want to be when you're older? Um, I want to be a fashion designer. Why? Um, I've been practicing since I was four. So what would you design? Um, anything. Good answer. Thank you so much. What's your name? Valerie. And the question is, what do you want to be when you grow up? A doctor. Why? Because you can help people by being sick. Good answer. I also want to be a doctor when I grow up. Well, thank you so much. Bye. What's your name? Zach. And the question is, what do you want to be when you're older? A basketball player. Why? Because, because I like playing basketball. Who's your favorite basketball player? LeBron James. That sounds interesting. Thank you so much. Thank you so much to our first and second graders for giving us wonderful answers. When I'm older, I want to be a doctor. Well, I'll see you guys next week. Thank you, Melanie. Today's birthday boys and girls are Stephen Joseph, Amaris Kaplan, John Mark, and Cameron Muniz. Happy birthday! Now let's go back to Nia. Thank you, Ariel. Patriot to your packs expectations. It presents Present Yourself Positively at Kindly Toad Zellies. Treat the school and survive respectfully and succeed at everything. No one got the correct answer to yesterday's daily challenge, which was Who is left handed? The correct answer was five. Now for today's daily challenge. Daily challenge. What is the national animal of Australia? Teachers, please send your answers to pines.renaissance at gmail.com before 9 a.m. in order for your answers to be reviewed. Winners will be announced on the next morning announcements. Everyone at IPTV would like to wish you all a thoughtful Thursday. And remember, here at Pines, we're going to renew excellence in education. Have a great day.